Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Mighty Blackwood here. I was just wondering, what do we get out of voting Democrat? As of lately, a lot of black people put Joe Biden and Kamami Harris in. Can anybody black tell me any noble good thing that Harris and Mr. Biden has done to help black people. I can't think of anything. Day one, this man signed and passed executive orders to help the white LGBT white folks, the Latinos, Asian Pacific Islanders, and a few other folks. No executive orders to help black people. We're not protected under the law like everybody else. Since Joe Biden's been in, police were still killing us. Joe Biden is giving the police more money, creating this little task force that's going to only target us. Remember Mr. 93 crime bill? He strikes again. That alone should have made people, well, black people, not vote for this guy. But, you know, you had a lot of the black Democratic shears, the Rolling Martins, the Joy Reeds, the Don Lemonade, the Mark Lemoyce Hills, and all these other punks out here. And we got to quit listening to them. We have the new black media out here. We got Brother Tyreek Nasheed. Jason Black, Professor Black Truth, uh, Mr. Superboy Harvey, you got Nicole's view, you got the sisters at the Fly Nubia Queen, well, Jade Irondale and Vicky Dillon. I don't know about the rest of it, but those two sisters on point and on code. Uh, Sister Aunt Kathy, she's out here. You know, there's a lot of them out there in the new black media. And, oh, yeah, my other two brothers. Uh, Black Up In You, he does a great job too. Tori and Rain, so ain't no excuse, brothers and sisters. The information is out there, and there's nothing wrong with researching the information we get from our own. There's nothing wrong with that. And we've been warning you. I'm talking about other brothers and sisters on code out here. Been warning you not to give your vote to Kamami Harris and Mr. Biden. And knowing Biden had 40-something years of doing damage to us, but a lot of our old, I don't mean sound like Jason Black, a lot of our old Negroes, they just seem to go along with the Democratic BS with no research. And even though you can get the facts in the history right in front of your nose, right up under your nose, a lot of us turn around, forget the Democrats, and put them in office, even though they're going to go in there and help everybody else. Even the immigrants get help. Immigrants that come over here, a lot of them have more rights than us. But here we go, black people. We're voting and not coming with a black agenda. I'm still down with the tangibles tangibles that we need. Our people built this country. Our forefathers and ancestors' blood is in the soil. Other groups get reparations from this country. There are groups who went to war with this country and got reparations. And I have another question. Where are those black feminists at, like Toronto Burke, who's a non-foundational black American? Where's Sage Steele? Where's Joy Reid? Where's Mammy Oprah and Mammy uh, Gail King at? Where are they at on speaking out against these sisters that's being attacked in the media? Uh, right on, Brother uh, Tyree now she did a great broadcast Sunday about that. Great job, great job as usual. And get the bug breaking DVD. Brothers and sisters, you need to have this in your households. You need to have your children checking this stuff out. This information, this historical information 
that chronic, you know, the beginning of this LGBT stuff. Yeah, it was happening on the plantation. So get out there and support that DVD. Get your copy. Get it now. That's probably one of the most important documentaries you can have in your hands right now. Well, back, to, back to my question. The black feminists, where are you? They claim that they love black women. They claim they're fighting for the women's. That's how some of them talk. That's not me. Where are they at? Now, when white women in trouble, they out here caping. Oh, Cosby raped all those women. They didn't even touch one. But you can get a lot of them pushing that narrative. But where are you when it's time to be about some black business? Can't find you nowhere. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. You probably on Masters Plantation on his TV show, writing in his newspaper. Yeah, you get white women out here who working at these sports channels lying on black women. Yeah. But once again, a lot of us out here, we speaking. And I'm glad Mr. Cosby is out. Now, there's some things about him I wasn't happy with. But to just railroad somebody just because they're black with lies, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, and Stephen Collins, the daddy from uh, Seven Heaven, y'all know he molested kids. Nothing happened. And in the news, the dude that played in the Spider-Man movies, James Franco, he's selling, what, a $22 million something dollar sexual assault uh, settlement? I don't hear none of the mammies and the bootlicking pappies talking about that. Eric Lemoy's heel. Hey, I just wanted to kick those thoughts out. Support new black media. We know who our brothers and sisters are. We know who's speaking that truth. That so-called black news channel Eric Lamont, Mike, Mark Lamont, Lemoy's heel is on. I think J.C. Watts and a few other non-blacks put some money up and started that little network. It is not truly owned by foundational black Americans. That is a lie from the gates of hell. And uh, right on to Jada Arendelle, she did a interview with one of our Ella scholars, Bob Law. Man, I remember as a kid growing up listening to Night Talk over here in St. Louis when it ran all night on KTZ. Man, Legendary stuff. Now the people over at iHeart, they own most of the old black radio stations here. And, and Radio 1, I don't know what your problem is. I don't even really call you black radio. I'm just going to call you coon radio. I'm out here like a bounce check and a bottle of food stamp. 